Why do doctors, athletes, and even your grandma say, eat bananas? It's all thanks to potassium. But where does potassium even come from? Let's find out in six easy steps. Step one, weathering or rock breakdown, the mineral treasure chest. Potassium is stored deep inside rocks, like a hidden treasure. Over time, wind and rain break these rocks down, releasing potassium into the soil. Step two, plant absorption from nature's nutrient ATM. Plants absorb potassium from the soil. They use it to grow strong, control water balance, and fight off diseases. No potassium, no healthy crops. Step three, enters the food chain, farm to table, straight to you. We eat those potassium-rich plants, like potatoes, bananas, spinach, or the animals that eat them. That's how potassium powers your body, muscles, and even your heartbeat. Step four, waste returns. Nature's cash back offer. Dead plants, fallen leaves, and cow dung. All of it decomposes and returns potassium back into the soil. Nothing goes to waste in this cycle. Step five, runoff. A bit gets lost. Some potassium gets washed away by rain into rivers and oceans. Nature's leakage problem. But wait. Step six, sediment reset. Back to square one. Over time, that potassium settles in sediments, turns into rock again, and the cycle starts all over, slow and steady. That's the potassium cycle. From rocks to rotis, quietly keeping the world's farms and families healthy. Want more fun and fast science? Hit that follow button and stay curious.